he's gone from high class on the bold and the beautiful to low class on all my children as the trashy, flashy Crystal Carey. He's a tough rod. She uses her femininity to her advantage a lot, and so she's getting into some trouble sometimes. She's done some bad things. She's Bobby Eeks, and she has a confession to make. I am a lot like my character, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm proud of that or not, but I remember when I got the character description before I read for the role, I went, I can really, really sink my teeth into this. I'm sort of a tramp with a heart of gold. Bobby Eeks was born in Warner Robins, Georgia, the youngest of five girls whose names, except for Bobby's, begin with the letter S. And they're all great. Susan, Sharon, Sandra, and Shelly, all S words. I was the youngest. I think they were hoping for a boy, and they didn't get a boy, so they named me after my father anyway. I'm named after my dad, Bob. Since her father was in the Air Force, Bobby's family moved frequently. Florida, Great Britain, and then back to Georgia. Bobby thinks all that moving may have prepared her for showbiz. There are a lot of actors and singers that come from military families. One of the reasons is because you have to pick up, move to a new town, meet new friends, and really, you're auditioning uh, for a new set of friends. From an early age, it was clear that Bobby and her sisters had performing in their blood. We would put on shows in our backyard and the neighbors would, you know, come up and watch. When we got a little older, people would ask us to do some local shows and things like that. So we sort of became semi-professionals. The Eeks sisters not only sang, they also competed in beauty pageants. One of the main draws to pageants was that it was a little slice of show business in our little hometown and we got to get up on stage and you know wear fancy costumes and belt out a song and uh, so I think for me that was the excitement of it all. Bobby excelled at pageants and won title after title. She was Miss Georgia Teen, a runner-up in the Miss USA Teen pageant and then became Miss Georgia. Bobby Eats, Miss Georgia. I never had the kind of experience that a lot of people typify with pageants. I never had really that backbiting, you know, sabotaging my talent costume or anything backstage. So I was very fortunate. But Bobby's good fortune took a turn when she competed in the Miss America pageant. When it was time to introduce herself to the audience, she went blank. She forgot to say her name and state. Everybody in my group were looking at me like, oh, your, your history. And I, and I couldn't figure out why they had these looks of horror on their faces until I heard the second contestant start as on my way out. And I went, oh, I forgot to say my speech. Miss Georgia would not become Miss America that year. Bobby gave up the pageant circuit and decided to chase her dream of becoming a professional singer. She moved to Hollywood. She scored a job very quickly. Bobby was hired as the lead singer in a band for a weekly TV show called Comedy Break. Soon Bobby was doing more than just singing. They started using some of us in the band in their sketches. And they started using me and it, things worked well. And they started using me more and I almost became part of the sketch group. All of a sudden, acting is my focus. With music though, still very much a part of my, my life and my career. Bobby went on countless auditions, including soaps, but got no parts. By 1988, she considered throwing in the towel. I really was considering moving back home. I was even talking to my sister down in Florida. Um, her husband is a dentist, and I was saying, maybe I could work in the office. But then her agent called with great news. She'd won the role of good girl Macy Alexander on The Bold and the Beautiful. As relieved as Bobby was, she didn't anticipate much job security. I was hoping maybe two years, you know, just enough to save up a little money, give you a little cushion so that you have the freedom to do other things. Next thing you know, I'm on a soap for 11 years. We've got more Bobby Eeks coming up, but first, it's time for Sopography's Star Quiz. When Bobby Eeks got married in 1992, she copied something that belonged to her character, Macy. Was it 
Macy's vows, Macy's dress, or Macy's flower arrangements. Coming up next, Bobby finds soap stardom and becomes a European singing sensation. People were calling me and saying, you know, you've got a hit song over in such and such country. And I'm going, you're kidding. I didn't know that. And the bad news that could have killed her career. You know, he called me and he said, you know, we're just running out of ways to put you and Thorne back together and you're not going to make it. Welcome back to Soapography. Did you know what Bobby Eakes copied from her character Macy for her own wedding? If you guessed Macy's wedding dress, then you were right. By 1988, Bobby Eakes had gone from Miss Georgia to Soap Ingenue as the Bold and the Beautiful's Macy Alexander. Her leading man on the show was Jeff Tracta, who played Thorne Forrester. The on-screen lovers hit it off as friends in real life, too. I thought Bobby was the most talented girl I had ever met. Jeff Tracta and I immediately bonded. Uh, he's great. He's very, very funny, very talented. Jeff was a terrific singer as well. He and Bobby asked the Bold and the Beautiful creator and executive producer Bill Bell to let them perform together on the show. Bobby had given Bill a, uh, a CD that she had made. And, uh, and I sang for Bill, and a week later, we were singing together on the show. The audience enjoyed it too, and not just in the United States. The Bold and the Beautiful is very popular in Europe. Bobby and Jeff's songs became huge hits on TV music channels overseas. It was surreal, actually. So people were calling me and saying, you know, you've got a hit song over in such and such country. And I'm going, you're kidding. I didn't know that. And that's how my, my singing career in Europe sort of took off. Bobby's personal life was on the upswing, too. She met actor and writer David Steen. The two clicked when he asked Bobby to perform in one of his plays. We were together ever since. The two married in 1992. We have a really good relationship. Uh, I'm proud of that. He's a great guy. After several years of juggling marriage and career, Bobby decided to slow down a bit. The question was, should she cut down on her soap role or her music? The bold and the beautiful head writer, Brad Bell, decided for her. You know, he called me and he said, you know, we're just running out of ways to put you and Thorne back together. And so this is the deal. You're, you're going to be in a car accident and you're not going to make it. <laughs> Bobby packed up and moved to Nashville. She recorded a duet with country singer Colin Ray and did a movie, Charlie's War, with Lynn Redgrave and Olympia Dukakis. So I'm thinking, hey, Nashville is the place to be. Everything's happening now. And then, of course, right when I get settled, I was there for three months. My manager calls and says, they want you back. And I went, okay. Bobby was glad to be back, but after a year, her role was diminished. So when all my children offered her the part of sharp-tongued Crystal, she jumped at the chance. I love this character so much. She's very free, and uh, so I'm exploring that side of me. I love the strength of this character, and I am really having a great time with it. But don't think this latest chapter in Bobby's life means she's leaving music behind. This southern songbird is even recording a new CD. And I can ask me all the time if you had to choose between acting and singing which would you choose and luckily I haven't had to make a choice Bobby Eakes beloved daytime veteran versatile actress and global singing sensation who knows what surprises the future holds that's my life you know it's like what's gonna happen tomorrow it's been it's been pretty fantastic